welcome back. Today we are taking a look back in time as we peek closer at one corner of Colorado Springs that makes our town unique. We're checking in at the Pikes Peak Trolley Museum and Restoration Shop where they're keeping the past alive while looking hopefully forward to a future on the rails. Our John McMichael reports. <laughs> This is the Pikes Peak Trolley Museum and Restoration Shop, and it's a place where lots of fun can be had. We all have a great time here, so it starts with fun. Run by an all-volunteer team of folks, oddly enough, mostly also named John. John, John, John. And John. You come down to the museum and holler, hey, John, you're going to get an answer somewhere. <laughs> it's, it's a station full of Johns. <laughs> it just happens to be. <laughs> this space specializes in trolley-based sights, sounds, and interactivity, Tales from a hundred years back aimed at everyone. All the serious stuff has to do with local history, uh, riding streetcars. Here we go. How often is it that you get to take this thing out on the tracks for folks? Every time we have a visitor. This is part of the, the experience of coming to the museum is you get to ride in this trolley. And it's important that we see this here now because of why? We can't lose our history. Built inside an 1880s roundhouse, the museum's shell is almost as old as the town itself, which was founded back in 1871. Colorado Springs was founded because of railroads, and we're right at the heart of all of that. It's not just a place for people to come see the past. It's a place where people bring the past back to life. Is that an accurate description of this place? Oh yes sir, that's definitely an accurate description. With four restoration projects currently underway. We want this baby to run 100%. We want this to be fully restored. And several streetcars and trolleys on site. This place is truly a window back in time. We have been the glue for these many years that keep the story alive. But while history is the word of the day, the future, restoring cars, returning to the rails, making plans. You don't just put rails down someplace and expect everything to be successful. No, indeed. That, the future, is the passion. You know, we're trying to go back into electric vehicles. Well, guess what? We had this 100 years ago. We'd love to see streetcars again operate on the streets of the city. That's our biggest dream. But for now, the museum is open, and the Johns, they're ready and able to take you back to the past. We have lots of interesting things happening here from A to Z. Always something new. And Colorado Springs, John McMichael, News 5. There's so much history there, it is impossible to go over it all in the time we have. So maybe just consider visiting the museum yourself. They're hosting an open house on Saturday, August 27th. They're celebrating 40 years and working to get more rail-based knowledge out there. The group is always looking for volunteers and more opportunities to share our town's history.